Hey YouTube, I didn't really know how to start this video, but I just, uh, but, um, I'm gonna just do a little video on how I edit, and, um, where it is that you want to edit it. So, let's do it first, we'll do a little walkthrough here. Uh, I got my nice TV, flat screen, I finally got one. I you told you that earlier. Um, over here, I got my little netbook. I really suggest here, if you're gonna see this, I really suggest getting one of these mouses, they're really nice, they're really good gaming mouses, if you're, like, you know, like, computer gaming. They have like little commands you can I don't know if you see that and you can you know do extra commands on those buttons and stuff. Um, they're really nice. The balls are it's just nice. They're really good mouses. So anyways, um, once you have your USB plugged in, you have your CFG in there. You're like, all right, well I'm gonna edit this. You know, put my name in it or whatever. I have a video on how to do that. The first thing you need to do is make sure your mouse is plugged in. Sorry, I'm a little retarded. Anyways, um, I don't know why it's making those lines in the screen. So sorry about that. Um, but you just right click on your, and then go down to open with, and this little uh, pop up should come up. Let me see, there we go. And then notepad should be there. If not, if it's not there, just uh, search for you know program. Um, you open it up, and you have your coding. You know, I have press control control H, and uh, I added a menu for someone so um because they don't have a computer so. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll do that for you. If you do not have a computer, don't lie to me, please. Just, you know, you can try to do it yourself, but if you do not have a computer, just your PS3 or whatever, if your parents don't let you on it or something, um, just let me know. I'll edit it. I mean, it's not that hard. And, um, so anyways, you just hit Control H, and as of right now, since this guy's name is in it, I just type that in. Just a second. Okay, once you get that going on, then you just click the Replace All. And then replace it all and bring you back up to the top. So, you know, it says replace Ian Povance 12 with your name. Um, to find something, I have Control H and then, you know, find either you can find functions, say the save page 2, which is an easy one to edit, or three, you know, say page 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. Um, or you can, like, search map query for infections. The infections are all the way at the bottom. So you just, you know, scroll down, just bring it all the way down at the bottom. Here's are the infection codes, so, like infection, uh, infection menu 5, 5. That's where I have, you know, the map rust, me and full bands. I still have kept CFG on page 5 just because some people like it there instead. Um, you know, buttons back. This is the D-rank CFG. Um, and stuff like that. So how you e edit that kind of stuff. Um, the clan pack I have there, you know. I just have little stuff. And the, the mini menus, if you can see them. I don't know if you can see mini menu. I'm Like I said, I'm not a pro at editing, but there's something in the code. I have no idea what. If anyone can tell me, that'd be sweet. Uh, where, um, crap. It's got to be in the coding. I don't know what else it would be if anyone could tell me. But, like, I can, oh, no one can join. Like, I host it, and no one can join me. So there's, like, something in the coding. I don't know what. I've changed numbers. It doesn't work. I've changed, you know, that makes it so only one person's allowed in the party. If anyone knows how to fix that or change the number of party people, because I know I've seen, you know, hacks that say only one person allowed in the party or whatever. You know, leave and then back out. But anyways, like, you know, I have... You know, you can add, you can change if you want. If you want to keep credit to me, like you can hit the Control H and change your name, and then come back down here, and then your name will be be here. You can change it to me if you want to give me some credit. That'd be sweet. Um, if not, you know that's not a huge deal. Um, the ones that I like do this kind of stuff. See how Ian Poban dash twelve. It won't replace the Ian Poban dash twelve. It's, it's different because it's different colors. Six and then see the six and then six. So they're dash in the same color um if you want to you know so any of those ones would still be my name but like this top one that's you know that will change to your name so that's why some of this stuff doesn't work now if you want to do like right up right up on top of uh uh infection menu 5 one you've got the explosive bullet like this the strength this is just a number what, what this is what you, makes it so you see it on your screen this is the actual coding that lets you that makes it work. So then you just scroll across here, and you've seen these before, right? Um, see that it's got those little bars, and over here is what actually sets the damage. See the actual dam explosion user. I have ten. No, one. Um, I have ten back here just for shits and giggles. It actually works. Um, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400. This is actual explosive. 700, 999, and the nuke bullets is 2,000, but it's a special perk. If you read it, it says specialty perk, and that's why it's a one-shot, one-kill for, like, everyone. Um, 
And rem this this explosive radius is bigger than 2,000. As you can see, 2,999. It works. Like you know, I can shoot out like rust. I can shoot outside of the map, like back in the mountains, and it'll hurt people. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But um, anyways, but yeah, this is but this is expl uh, explosive radius. Like how big the radius is of the bullet. Where um, see, oh, there we go. Explosive damage factor we got 100 and then it's 2000 see it so that is a little bit extra that's why it's a one shot one kill it because it, it does a hundred percent of the damage where this where all these ones are it's just normal damage it does whatever the bullet does so that's why it takes two or whatever um so that's how you edit that kind of stuff if you want to change the numbers or whatever that's where it is you can don't change too much though because otherwise it'll that's when it doesn't work so that's you have to do trial and error you just have to have one of your friends like that's sleeping host a cfg and just trial and error like i did um you know, just, that's you know basic how to edit this um explosive bullets like if you want to edit um you know there's a you know super jump editor you know scroll over here this will show the actual super let's see where is it you know like the actual super jump height I think that's you know 11, 15, 20. I don't I don't honestly know. That's 17. So that's um, sensitivity. I can't read. Um, you know that's sens shows you the sensitivity level. Actually, you know that's how you can change it to make it 70 or whatever. Um, time scale editor. I haven't quite figured out how that works. I was gonna try to mess around with it a little, but I don't really care. It's the time scales. I feel that's all right. Um, you know you can edit the gravity. You know gravity is. Uh, it lowers the gravity from 200 gravity to a negative 200. Or I don't even honestly know, but you know, 200 all the way down to 1200. You know, which makes it so you're basically whatever. Um, gravity ninth, the stuck gravity doesn't work. I really wish it, like it says you know it says send to space. It doesn't actually send you to space. Like it, some of them, I've used one of them. When you click the send to space gravity, it actually you jump and you just keep on going up. Um. Super speed editor, same thing. Your game speed, how run fast you run, you can change. You know, game uh, speed, 2,000, 1,000, you know, all that shit. Um, so it's really not that hard. You just got to read, you know, know how to read. That's the biggest thing. If you know how to read, this really, this really isn't that hard. You just got to use some, com some, some, what's that called? Yeah, like, um, problem solve, I guess, or, uh, Oh well, um, I, I uh, couldn't think of what it's called. See, I do process of elimination. That's what it's called. And think, hey, this works. This works. Well, that code does this code. So you just kind of, you know, just um, you just kind of have to wing it, and you know, like read other code and be like, oh, this code says this. So this code says that. You no, know, it took me a while to get um stuff going. You know, I spent quite a bit. You know. I mean, there's just quite a bit of code here. Obviously, I mean, it is a menu. Oops. And you scroll through. Like, you can change. If you don't like the fun menu, you know, page uh, 5, see it has a carrot, too. That means it's a color. So that's 5, and then carrot 6, that's another color. So it's just page 2. This is page 5. You can change what it says instead of saying uh, disable mod menus. You can, hey, you know, kill mod menus or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is, you know, the functions of a fun page you know so this is what actually makes it work you know toggle player breath hold you know forever all that shit um just read it that's the biggest thing i can know how much i can stress to read if you read shit it it, it works you know same thing for here is the uh, ac130 the uh 25 millimeter 40 you know that's that's what it says and then the actual command for the ac130 would be like the actual code that makes AC-130 work, you just, um, you know, it's, I don't honestly know, but it's, you know, stuff like that. Um, like I said, I'm not a pro at this, but, you know, you know, I got page four for the fun menu and, you know, all these different pages. Let's see if I can get you something useful in just a second here. Just like I have in my, up at the very top, it says, you know, functions say page two you know it actually says omfg or unlock all lol um that's the spam these are the spam so don't mess with those but um this is like a shortcut if you click and you know this is an actually 
the hack. This is a shortcut to where the spam is because the D rank spam is if you scroll down a little bit. So this is like a you click on this in your menu and it brings you to the actual spam. But like these ones, the ones that just say stuff if you want infection sub to me, you know, like I added that, you can change it to sub to me, you know, whatever. So that's how you edit the same menu decently. Um, I mean, you can do like here, I'll go up. Alright, so here's like the quick menu. This is where I made it so that when you hit select, it gives you the big clip and the um, all perks. They're right here. How it says I have set compass and big clip. If you can, let me see if I can get over here. So sorry for the set perk. Um, specialty extended mag, see extended ammo. That's, but I also have the UAV. See if you want to turn on UAV, you just have to click it. It's called UAV. But the actual coding is the big clip. Um, but let's say you want to edit the big clip, right? You want to give have more than 200 rounds. Sorry. Um, you just scroll over and you start looking for numbers. Let's see if I can get in here decently. See 300. I see, I change it to 300. And if you want to change it to whatever, but normally it's uh. 200 I have it default at I figure that's a big enough clip but if you want 300 or whatever you can change you just gotta change all of the first like the first numbers 300 and you just gotta change all of them to whatever number you want um don't go past a thousand because once it goes to a thousand it just goes up your entire screen when you're playing so um let's say once you edit everything you want to edit and you once you figure out how to do this shit um right, here's like the quick quick menu um what it, you know like you can change what it says so I have it, you know, CFD, like this is what the infection menus actually say. You know, you can change it so it says, you know, like UAV, aim assist, text tutorial, three page mini menu, IFK message, you know, let's say whatever you want to call it. Some people just say, you know, here's the prestige, you can say it's prestige, you know, whatever if you wanted to just what mess around, I guess. Um, so we'll scroll up a little, you know, you can change infection menu, you know, three, you know all this stuff. You can change what it says. Um, but let's say you're at the top and you want to get to the quick menu. It's past all of the menus. Like it'll say, see how these aren't any hacks. This is just what what it shows up on your screen. And you're wondering, you might be wondering, like, why does this map say? Um, let's see if you can read that. <laughs> sorry, like I said, sorry for the quality. Um, scrapyard. Rust, Afghan, Estate, and it goes down and it goes high rise because one of them is what you see, and then what other ones when you scroll over it, you know how like it changes colors. That's that's how you change it. Like this one is just you no, know, this is the colors, and then down here it's just the plain black text, and then up here is when it's green, or you can change it to blue or whatever color you wanted to. Um, I was thinking about just you know changing it everything to blue instead of green and pink. But that's a pain in the ass. I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, that's what some people do. You know, you see menus that look just like this one. They just you hit Control H and you you know you find the carrot, the carrot six, and you hit change it to carrot five, which is like the neon blue or whatever. But here's the um, this is where you edit this. You know when you hit select down, and it, um, this is where I edited that. Um, you can add in your own aimbot if you like a different aimbot. You can, you know, just copy and paste it. Just make sure you start it after that little uh, semicolon there. This is wait five, and then where it says compass, that's where you, you just start. Just a second here. You just highlight all the way to the end, and then delete it, and then edit to wherever you want. Um, so that's how you. That's a simple. That's the most uh, simplest way I could put it, and how to edit. Um, CFG menu. So once you're all done editing, changing your colors, your text, your same menu, you just click File, Save. See, so File, Save, um, and then exit out of it. And then see, I already have in my USB. I already have my old menu I was using. You know, it's the same menu, but whatever. Then you just click on it and delete it. And if you ever need it again, it'll be in your recycle bin. So, and then you just the new one that you just edited. You just click and drag into your USB. And it's really this simple. All right. Pull it out of your computer. I don't really worry about the safety thing. And bring it over to your PS3. I got my PS3 right here. Plug it into your right USB port like always. Obviously, if you know how to do this, you should be doing this right. And I already have my menu going. So you might be thinking, 
Oh, wait a minute, don't I need to back out to main menu? Um, no, you don't. You can just go, um, change, you can just change the map to whatever the fuck you feel like. Um, <laughs> Afghan. Because you're not changing to a different menu. If you change to a different menu, you need to quit. But if you're just changing, like, text or, like, the order of the menu, it doesn't matter. So, <laughs> that's, that's pretty nice. I thought it was sweet because I always hated, oh, I gotta back out, it's a pain in the ass. No, if you're using the same menu and just changing the same menu... See, now when I hit select, I have a bigger clip, if you can see that. It's um, not not 200, it's 300 now. It's like if I were to switch to a, let's see, where's my RPD here with extended mags? That has two, that has um, a 200 round clip. I hit select and see how much, you know, it's an extra an extra 100 rounds. And then I have all, I have all perks, so of course I'm reloading faster. The same thing for the G18. You know, faster reload, which is really nice. And then, like I said, if you want to, since you switched menus, you don't have super steady aim on anymore. So you're gonna at least need to go down to fun menu and turn that stuff on, or the duck menu, sorry. And uh, so you just turn that on, and that'll give you a super steady aim and your super reload and all that shit. So you know, um, that's what I've done. Another thing, if you didn't realize, um. I have in my quick menu, not in my duck menu, technical difficulties, see I have, you know, it says UAV, that turns UAV on, all perks, aim assist, force host, FPS, and all that normal stuff. I have the explosive bullets right in the quick menu, just for easier access, you know, strength 10, all the way up to... 9,999 bullets, so that's what I've done to my menu. Um, I'm Ian Pobans, and I hope this video helped you use, sorry for the length and the quality if you actually uh, stuck through the whole thing, thanks. And uh, remember to s subscribe and comment with any questions. Alright, I'm out.